Jerry Tenney, Leslie Tellman. So I am very thrilled to say that a next generation of, of a woman that we've heard these songs of Melvina Reynolds for so long, and Pete loved them and sang them, and how lucky we are to have Nancy Schimmel here tonight. <laughs> My mother and Pete wrote songs together, not together in the same room, together on opposite sides of the continent, and they did it by U.S. mail <laughs> back in the day. She would send him lyrics, and he would send her a tape, and the tape would always begin. She would play it for me when I went to visit. Here's Pete's latest tape, and it would say, Hi, Mal, this is Pete, and the this is Pete was so unnecessary because by the hi, you knew that voice. <laughs> Um, this is a song of hers that he recorded on an album called um, God Bless the Grass, which was taken from a title from one of her songs, um, an environmental album. Although God Bless the Grass is not about grass. <laughs> That's a metaphor. It's not about either kind of grass. Um, it's about truth, and she actually wrote it. Uh, you mentioned Mark Lane. She wrote it after she had read Mark Lane's writing about the uh, cover-ups in the Kennedy assassination. So it's about truth. This one, however, is about a water shortage. <laughs> it would sound familiar? That, sa that, <laughs> that um, was occurring in New York City when she was there visiting in 1959 and she was staying in a place where the faucet dripped. <laughs> so if you know the chorus, please join in, and if you don't know the chorus, please join in. <laughs> the faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping, and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because it's supplying the faucets that drip in New York. You can't ask the landlord to put in a washer. He'd rather you'd move than to put in a washer. The faucets are dripping, they sound in my ears. The tap in the bathroom has been running for years. The faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because it's supplying the faucets that drip in New York. My favorite verse. There's a wild streak of green in the sink in the kitchen. It comes from the rill trickling out of the plumbing. The streams from the mountains, the pools from the lee, all run from my faucet and down to the sea. The faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because it's supplying the faucets that drip in New York. You can't ask the landlord to put in a washer. You can't ask the landlord to mend the old stairs. He takes in the rent and he lives in Miami where faucets don't drip and there's sun everywhere. The faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because it's supplying the faucets that drip in New York. The faucets are dripping, the landlord's content. With every new tenant, he raises the rent. The buildings can crumble, the tenants can cry. There's a shortage of housing, you live there or die. The faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because
transit supplying the faucet set drip in New York. They're building some buildings and fine city centers. It's sure work and hell on the low-income renters. They're jammed into rooms with the rat and the fly, where the faucets all drip and the floors never dry. The faucets are dripping in old New York City. The faucets are dripping, and oh, what a pity. The reservoir's drying because it's supplying the faucets that drip in New York. Thank you.